It was very confusing. <clears throat> and you, you think you're saying the right thing, and later somebody that knows you will tell you that what you said really wasn't so good. She had a lot of emotional trauma, physical trauma, and, when, and prior to the visit, they had had her on Namenda, which is an Alzheimer's drug, which actually made her worse. She had already become somewhat better from the coconut oil therapy. I could create the symptoms that a person would experience with moderate Alzheimer's disease. I could go out and get lost in familiar areas. So I wondered if it, I w wondered if it could be something in my diet. And so it took about a year to isolate what was causing it. There are a whole host of brain diseases that are linked to mercury epidemiologically. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, ALS, MS, autism, and acrodynia are all brain diseases and that they're all linked to mercury. I went over to the store and I had a double dip uh, of frozen custard because I wanted to see if, how that compared with regular ice cream. The reason that it affected me was because that the frozen custard contains ethyl vanillin, which is, which is distilled from eugenol. And it's an oxidizer, and it oxidizes the metals that are needed by our metalloproteins. And then the metals wind up in the beta amyloid plaque in the brain. Doctors, they, know, they never check for that kind of thing thyroids and make you goofy and crazy and uh, it was scary. I started to think again and I started to be able to write again and and it, it was it took a period of time to get better but I was very happy and I felt that I was on the road to recovery. It was getting worse and he was asking me the same question over and over again and I'd answer him and I'd say Tom don't you remember you just asked me that. And then he w went to the doctor and had a CAT scan and it showed he had early Alzheimer's. It made me feel good to, to know my husband was published and that he was trying to help people and that, you know, that he would be able to help people. And we would sometimes get letters from people thanking us and, and saying how that they'd also gotten well doing what he had done. Mats Hansen is a dentist from Sweden who was instrumental in bringing the lay public awareness to mercury in, in dentistry and helped the Swedish government change their policies. Uh, in fact, I have a book here that was published in 1992 with over 12,000 citations of mercury in the science. And don't tell me there's no research. It's just a fallacy. And there are about 30 on Alzheimer's disease and these are peer-reviewed articles that relate mercury to those diseases as a cause of those diseases. I just can't describe the amount of hopelessness because the general unacceptance of this disease and the fact that uh, how many people it has killed and how many people that are sick and how many don't even realize that they're, that they're sick and I call them the walking wounded. This time I became a 13 year old high school student and I did not know my wife again. This time I retrograded 48 years of my life. My entire adult life had been eradicated. I said, I don't care what any of you guys say. That was a drug reaction and it was due to my Lipitor and this is what triggered my research into the statin drug use. Nobody disagrees with the, the biochemistry being abnormal. And when we find what would mimic this, what would cause this. And uh, we, slit, we went through all the metals and what we found was that mercury and only mercury would do it. And this has been confirmed by a group in uh, Canada at the University of Calgary that if you take neurons in culture, mercury and only mercury will cause the formation of the neurofibrillary tangles. I had no mind. I couldn't process anything and my retention was a second and a half. Disability was given to me within two hours. The assessment was made. I failed every test and my IQ was 57. I was mildly retarded. I think the scientific evidence, both of a molecular nature as well as a epidemiologic and a clinical nature, uh, all comes together to indicate and support the uh, importance of uh, reducing mercury exposure and uh, part of that from amalgams in order to decrease the risk of Alzheimer's. What they found in 2005 and 6 was that 30 percent of American women had detectable levels of inorganic mercury in their blood. 
Now you have to understand, there should be none. So we have a concern that for some reason, mercury is building up in the bodies of Americans.